I was more excited than nerves, for sure. And then diving on the floor, what did it feel like to see your teammates' reaction and hear the garden crowd? I mean, I, you know, see ball, get ball. That's all I was thinking. But I appreciate the fans. It was dope. So I liked it. Talked a little bit about the defense you were running practice this week. Mm -hmm. How did the defense you end up running the game here compared to that? Uh, it was good. Um, obviously, there's obviously thing you can fix with look at the film. But when I was in there and everyone else that was out playing, it felt good. Um, we were able to contain the key. You know, they, they, were, they shot a lot of tough floaters and tough shots in the paint, and we were able to clean up on the glass as much as we wanted to, but it was a decent. We defended the three-point line pretty well. Um, they didn't have a lot of clean looks, so we did a good job on those parts of the game. It's kind of an unusual situation where this team, like, still has roster spots, basically. Is that something, like, you think about? And yeah, it's, it was it was definitely unique. I remember when I first, my agent told me about uh, coming here, I was surprised just because the success they had last year. Um, but... I was definitely excited for the opportunity and being a part of this team. So it's been very, very enjoyable for me. Are you thinking about that? Like even like I know you're a two-way guy, but that there's going to be still a chance. Like everyone's everyone's being evaluated for a chance to make the final squad. Like yeah, but you take it day by day. I mean, obviously it's in your mind and you want to get those things and achieve more. But when you get ahead of yourself, you kind of fall into traps. What's the uh, team kind of telling you that they're kind of looking at it? looking for out of you? You know, double R, rebound and roll. So that's what I do. You had that, on that diving play, turn around, the ref was looking for the ball, and you dapped him up. The ref? Yeah. <laughs> I was so locked down, I didn't know what I was <laughs> You didn't know it was the ref? No, I, was just, I just saw hands, <laughs> and I just dapped him up, for sure. He looked confused, too. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, apologies, sir. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like, Ben? Being in the locker room with Al and, and having a veteran presence. Then. Amazing. I can ask him any question, smart questions, dumb questions, he'll answer it. So he's been really helpful since I've been here. Do you ask a lot of questions? Absolutely. Is he one guy you go to? Yeah, especially because most of the questions I ask is, also, is, is in the pick and roll coverages. Sometimes I have a hard time gauging where I should be at, um, playing cat and mouse with the ball handler and figuring out how I should guard it. And Al gives me good tips on how to angle it properly especially with different personnel and stuff. So he's been really helpful. So your go-to resource? Are you talking to anybody? Yeah, else? him. Um, Rob's been good just because he's been out. So he's, everything you see, every time uh, he watches practices while he does his rehab, um, he might give me a little comment here and there what I can work on. So Rob and uh, um, Al have been really helpful. You seem genuinely happy to be here. For Shosky. <laughs> you're like, you can't stop smiling. What, just just in general, I mean, obviously you're in the NBA, mm -hmm. but like just this, you've been floating around a little bit just to get this opportunity. Just what what is that? It, it feels amazing. I mean, I, do, I definitely appreciate my time in the G League. I had a blast, won the championship and stuff, but to come, I remember when, when warm-up were coming around, I, I was looking up and just saw the banners. And I was like, man, like, it feels good to be back uh, up top because it's something you dream about. And now that I'm back, um, I want to stay here for a long time. So I'm definitely grateful. 22 threes, I think. What do you just see out of this offense that made it home the way it did today? 41 assists, I think, too. Yeah, it was good. It was, um, if we keep that up, we'll be very, very successful. Um, guys are making plays for each other, getting in the paint, kicking it out. So if we continue that, you know, especially with different teams, because they're going to adjust, right? So if we are able to adjust to their adjustments, we'll be fine throughout the season. What's Joe's communication style like as a coach, you've noticed? Very straightforward. He just tells me what I need to do. So I come into the game with a clear-cut goal. There's no guessing. I just know what I have to do, and that's what I'm pursuing when I'm on the court. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you. No problem.